jumping from one crisis to another about the new European strategic vision. Europe is in crisis and we have many threats that are coming to you inside and also outside our borders. Can you please have your opinion about that? First of all, thank you very much for uh, having given me the opportunity to participate in such a high level, as I said already, gathering and with uh, participants in, uh, who, have, who have deep knowledge on the topics which are on the agenda of uh, this Aspen uh, meeting here in Bucharest. Now coming to your question, whether the Euro Europe is in crisis. Well, I think that the reality is there, we cannot deny reality. Uh, but I personally, I still prefer to speak when referring to Europe as such, to the European Union, about challenges. Because, well, crisis, challenges may be translated into the same, having a, a, the same meaning. But in my opinion, when we speak about challenges, means that uh, we may be there ready also to cope with them. And if I look into the uh, history of the European Union, the European Union has been able to get through and even uh, add to the, how to say, to the integration process. And uh, though this time perhaps the difference of the past is that uh, as of now we are to cope at the same time with several challenges. And uh, that means that we have to, I mean, uh, the European Union, heads of state governments, the various bodies, the Commission, the Parliament, to show more determination to act and perhaps even more important, uh, to act in a much speedier way. Because depending upon how fast we act, we may become more or less credible as a union. And if we look, if we look into, I was referring in my in a statement here about the fact that when uh, trying to explain why Brexit has happened, of course, there are many people who say that this is mainly the result of the perception in Britain about the European Union. Uh, at the same time, I said it is extremely important for us to well understand that there may be, and def definitely there are things to be improved inside the European Union way of functioning and the capabilities to act in accordance with the wishes, objectives of every of the citizens of the European Union. Tina has a point also on Brexit and migrants. To your um, speech, you mentioned Brexit, now you mention it again. What are the goals of Romania in this negotiation of Brexit? Well, let me, let me uh, say something which I think has to be the starting point in uh, whatever action and measure we may take so as to, uh, how to say, to deal with the Brexit. This is an undertaking which has to be done by the EU, well, the, the EU member states, the EU 27 member states on one side and the European Union on the other side. And uh, that means that uh, the negotiations should be carried out in this, in this way. And of course, paying the particular attention that whatever and uh, however and, and uh, whatever the methodology of uh, negotiations and the proceeds would be, the key values and principles 
of the European Union be maintained so as not to be affected. And that's also about the famous four liberties or freedoms which the European Union is characterized by and one of them, and that brings me closer to probably your, the, 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 the aim of your, of your uh, question, freedom of movement of persons. If the, our British friends, as they say, and we applaud this, that they want to keep, while uh, getting out of the European Union, they are continuing to be in Europe and they want to be, to, uh, to have as close relationship as possible with the European Union, to benefit of the internal market or the single market, for example. It cannot be so if one of these four liberties or four freedoms, and uh, as I mentioned, the free movement of persons would be limited. Just one example, of course, there may be others, but what important thing is, is that, and it was mentioned here also by Federica Mogherini, and with your permission by myself. Europe, the relationship between the European Union and the United Kingdom has to be really a, a, a closed one. Uh, and here I'm referring including to the security and defense dimension of the capabilities of the European Union and to the transatlantic link. There is no there is nothing new in what I'm going to say, that, that, but uh, everybody is aware of the importance of Britain in terms of transatlantic links. And that's something which you have to strive for. Very interesting. You said something, Minister, about the relaunch and the upgrade of the European Union. And it seems that the Brexit is the perfect reason. We have time for one question for the Minister because he also has to leave uh, for uh, an important meeting. Andrei Cerna. Nothing is normal in this uh, <laughs> debate. <laughs> Federica Mogherini quoted um, um, Secretary Kerry saying that um, uh, Europeans need to trust themselves as much as uh, we trust them, we Americans trust them. Uh, the question to you, Minister, is uh, uh, twofold. One, do we trust America uh, at the time of crisis when it comes to uh, specifically the security umbrella that uh, the US still provides uh, in Europe, the Middle East? including in, in, in its Eastern um, European areas, not just for today, but the, for, ye for the years to come. And second, uh, in that specific context, uh, uh, also considering uh, the, 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 the discourse in the US elections, not referring to one specific candidate, the need for, for Europe to, 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 to play in a different league when it comes to, to its own defense, uh, how will that play out uh, in the context of Brexit? Nope. Before trying to give an answer to that, perhaps just to add that, well, and first of all, it's very, very important to what John Kerry has said about that. And we should take it at real value. Because that's a clear message about the fact that uh, uh, also from the western part of the Atlantic, the awareness of the importance of the uh, transatlantic link is solid. And I, uh, I am pretty sure that, uh, since you refer to the uh, electoral period in the United States, I am confident that in the wisdom of the American electorate, to say, to say this. And uh, what I wanted to add is that uh, beyond this very clear and uh, extremely encouraging message coming from John Kerry. You know, I was in, uh, uh, two weeks ago I was in New York, and on that occasion we met bilaterally with a lot of uh, other foreign ministers, my prime minister with his counterparts, I was accompanying him in uh, those meetings, and almost all of them were with leaders from outside Europe. And, uh, Absolutely all of them, in their comments, speaking about and asking about the European Union, Brexit, and all these type of things, but all of them continue to say that they are extremely interested to see the European Union project not just to continue, but to be strengthened, because 
the world cannot be appropriately managed without a clear and uh, more and more contribution from the European Union side. So that's, that's what my comment would be. And uh, definitely now coming to Federica Mogherini's reference to the security and defense policy. It's important. It's really very important that uh, this idea of complementarity is not just kind of a declaration. If one uh, reads, also including uh, between the lines of the Warsaw, uh, the declara joint Warsaw Declaration, I think that may see there that the prospects are for, or at least the framework is open there for strengthening this complementarity and not for generating, uh, say, uh, kind of competition. Competition in this area between the, the two pillars of the transatlantic links is, uh, would, would definitely be detrimental. And if we look into the past, we may see that when it came to managing crises, conflicts, sooner or later, even if there may have been voices that, uh, well, we, can, we can't do that alone and all these type of things, at the end, the involvement of all the important factors and actors from the transatlantic area was, was becoming necessary. Thank you so much for being uh, Minister Comunescu. We'll uh, have to meet uh, Federica Mogherini. Thank you.